Hello guys, this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. So in this tutorial, I'm going to do the drafting example uh, second part. So the first part is already done. So if you have not checked that, go to playlist and um, I'll give the link in the description for the playlist. So you can just go to there and uh, check that part one. So, so part one is very simple, uh, which is having a block with some holes and uh, we have done just drafting for this. And this is a little bit complicated. As you can see here, we have some holes as well. And then um, the shape is different and we are try going to try to, you know, create a mom drawing for this. And as you can see here, the drawing file is over here. So there are some dimensions. We are going to create a dimensions and then uh, uh, whatever the, you know, features frame we have here, all those things, uh, we are just going to provide it and I will just show you how we can achieve this uh, drawing and uh, don't go in depth into uh, you know um, technical into this uh, what are the what are the position why they are given datum a b and everything so it is just a practice model it may not be correct in technical okay so now what I'll do is I'll just go to model here. So this model is already ready. Uh, I, have, I have created one sketch and I extruded this and now we'll go to drawing workbench by using control shift D. So this will take you to a drafting workbench since I already created a border. Uh, so it is not asking me to create it again. So we'll directly go to uh, create a base B. So we'll just go to base view as you can see here. This is my base view and uh, you can see there are only two views uh, Which is this one and there is a section of AA. So we are going to create this on a little bit uh, top side so we can just click here and uh, Now uh, it is asking me a projection view. So we don't need a projection view So I'll just cancel this and uh, we'll go to section view here. So this is a section. Sorry. So we'll go to section view here. So once the section view is appearing, so as you can see, I'm going to select this uh, center line and I'm going to put the view on the bottom. So now as you can see uh, in our drawing, the arrows are in the bottom side. So in order to get the arrows on the bottom side, we can just flip it over here, cut direction. So we, once you do that, you can see uh, the whatever the dimension we have, uh, we got it here. So section view is uh, has appeared so if you want to increase this you know section line you can just double click on this and you can just move it uh, uh, either side and so it will come and also if you want to move this letter you can just move it over here and you can just place it and uh, then uh, we can also move this uh, whatever the text we have section aa okay so always make sure that uh, the drawing should be updated so now as you can see here if there is a red mark like this so it is not updated so we need to update it by clicking over here so once you click here uh, everything will be updated so now you can see uh, all the you know dimensions and everything whatever there uh, which was missing it will be updated once you click it so now uh, you can see here there are some dimensions so we can see this is r8 and radius 22 and then uh, Again, this is the diameter. So these two dimensions and then other dimensions we can give then later and the final we can just give these uh, feature control frames. So now what I'll do is I'll just give a radius of uh, eight here. So go to radius and I'm just going to select this. So now as you can see, uh, we are able to see the diameter. So we don't need a diameter. So we can just go to here or else there is a window here. So which you can switch to radius okay and then we also have this arrow should be outside so what i'll do is i'll just go to settings and uh, here line and arrow so it should be outside okay you can just close this and whatever the dimension is there you can place it over here okay so this is r8 and there is a radius of 22 so go to again same thing so once you have not closed this window so whatever the you know um so the characteristics that we used for R8, the same will be carried over. What are the characteristics? So nothing but uh, whether it is a diameter or a radius or how you want to place, whether it is uh, inside uh, arrow line or outside arrow line. So everything, whatever it is there here, everything will be carried. So we can just place it over here. Okay, so now uh, we can see here um, there is uh, some basic dimensions over here. So we can give these basic dimensions and then we can go to control frame. Okay so <clears throat> so go to a linear dimension and uh, this dimension is 6 mm so between these two there is a 6 mm okay <clears throat> and uh, between this center line to this center line 
so yeah so it is a linear dimension let me give the linear dimension between this point to this point so it is a basic dimension so what i'll do is i'll just go to basic dimension and i'll just place this <coughs> and also we have some datum here so this is the a datum a so go to datum a and uh, this is the place okay so this is datum a so now as you can see here these dimensions are given and this is also given this is also given and we can see here control frames and these two control frames i'm going to give it now and now let me go to this control frame here and this is a terminating object and this i'm going to select and here you can see uh, whatever it is there it should be changed and it should be parallelism and then uh, we have uh, nothing here and it should be 0 0.03 and we don't have a modifier and it should be removed these two should be removed so this is what we have i'll just place it here over here okay so now as you can see this is what we have done and we have a flatness here 0 0.03 so let me go to feature control frame and select a terminating object okay and we have a flatness here okay it should be 0 0.03 and there is no datum okay so this is what we have okay so now uh, we have these two dimensions are left so first we will come to this and diameter of 30 and some uh, datum control features over here so let me give a dimension first and this is the circle and it should be a radius uh, sorry diameter so i'll just switch it to diameter and the diameter should be from inside so let me go to arrow line here sorry okay so it is inside now so let me switch to here okay and then go to settings here and it should be text above okay so this is the diameter 30 we have in the drawing okay so let me give this dimension so now we have this feature control frame so let me give that so feature control frame and we have a position and then uh, the diameter of uh, 0.2 and uh, with datum a and with datum b okay so this is what the we have so we can just place it over here so now as you can see here whatever we have is everything done so now since we are given associativity so once you move the diameter uh, even whatever we have a feature control form that will be moved so now we need to provide a dimension for this so let us go to radial dimension here and everything is properly defined and we just need to provide these settings so it should be along this and here it is okay <coughs> so now uh, it is a diameter of 8 and it should be multiplied by 2 so we'll just give 2x over here and we also have a tolerance here you can see there is a tolerance given so i'm not sure about what is the tolerance let me give 0.1 so plus 0.1 and minus 0.1 so we'll go to here and provide plus 0.1 and minus 0.1 so we can just keep it as it is and we'll just place this so once you place this we just need to give feature control frame so now our feature control frame is this so go to position and then a diameter of uh, 0.1 and we have a modifier here so go to create a modifier and with a and we don't have this okay so this is what we have so we can just place it over here okay so while placing you can see <coughs> so don't randomly place over here so you just need to hover over here so it will create a simple box so it is nothing but it will be associative with uh, the dimension so you can now place it so once this is done uh, we can also see there is a datum of b so let me go to datum 
feature and create B and this is my object okay so I think that's all we have here in this dimension nothing else so everything is covered over here so hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys so if you have any doubts please comment in the section below and um, I'll try to answer them thank you guys